Good morning guys, welcome to another week. It is Monday morning, um, just before the afternoon, it's about 11.30 now. We are off, just behind me. We are off, we're ready, we are shooting our summer party edit at the QT in the city, which is very, very exciting. We've been planning this past like two weeks, but like, not planning properly. Planning it and like kind of planning, we wanted to do it, we've got the dresses aside and collect all these dresses and stuff for the past like two weeks. And now we're finally going to shoot today, which is very, very exciting. Um, we were in a bit of a rush this morning because we was in like last minute. She wasn't, she didn't get back to us and she got back to us. I'm like, oh my God, let's go. I'm confirmed at 9.45 and we had to be there at 11.30. So I'm like, like oh, let's okay. go. Um, so yeah, so we're styling, we've got eight dresses um, and we're going to be shooting at the QT, like in the room, getting ready and also like in the bar, which is very exciting. So some cool summer op um, summer dress options for you. And not even summer. Yeah, cheers, seeds in my teeth. Like some cool like, just like party, New Year's party. party edit kind of options for you to get inspired. It's, they're very true to our style, which is nice. Something a little bit more oh, different for wow. us too. Was it nice neck crack? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going there today, which is very exciting to take you along with us. And that is it. And then we're, we're so busy this week. Like tonight we've got a party with Lenzo event, which is very exciting. Um, tomorrow we've got some other stuff on. And then Wednesday we go to Sydney. For I work. Well, we've got a funeral. Oh, okay. We have a funeral tomorrow, um, which you guys already know about. Um, so yeah, we've got a funeral tomorrow, and then Wednesday we're going to be in Sydney for work. We're with strategy meeting with Kat. Yeah. Um, then we come back home in the afternoon, and we've got an event with Mr. Miyagi. It's their Christmas party, yeah. and it's like a touch of Christmas theme, so it's mm. obviously um, Christmassy, and they've got the best food. I'm so excited for their nori tacos. Have to give our yeah. dietary requirements. Yeah. And then we'll just not. And I then, nori yeah. Tacos. And then Thursday we've got not much on during the day. We'll just do like regular stuff. Um, but Thursday night we have an NPR white Christmas party, which is kind of like their block party. They do they block out their street and their it's street awesome. Their street's a cul-de-sac, so they're just gonna have like a block out the whole street. It'd be sick. Then Friday we're getting a hair cut and colored boda haircutters. Going somewhere new this time. Um, we've been at Edwardson for the past two years, maybe two, three. three or four um, years. But it's just really challenging getting there to and from the city because um, there's not much parking there. And it's quite challenging over four hour period. So. It's Broda's much closer to us and lots of parking, so we're excited to move over, which is very cool. And my hair needs some serious help at the I'm moment. I'm gonna try and get my hair stripped because currently yeah. the tone is worn out, so it's kind of like we just need some pretty brown, brown. DIY, like some, sorry, some um, TLC for our hair. Um, and then Friday night we're not doing not anything. Seen. I think that's yeah. And then Saturday it's my dad's birthday. Wow, well, dad's birthday. Um, we have the same father. Obviously. Our dad's birthday, and then we're, we're gonna taking him styling. Oh, for Christmas and his birthday, he wants a styling session. So, <laughs> thanks, Dad. We're gonna do that, and then that's that's our week. Saturday it's night, quite I'm busy. Bump Carolina for dinner with the dad. Yeah, and then Sunday, my friend is getting engaged. <gasps> this is that Sunday. Yes, and it, by the time it goes up, it already happened. So I'm, I'm so excited. Oh, so um, oh, he's invited no. us to um. Like oh, you guys. Invite, well, Nas going to be here. My boyfriend's in New Zealand, but I'm going to um, Carlton Gardens afterwards um, as like a surprise for our like, closest friends. So I'm really excited. Um, so this whole week is really busy. My boyfriend's in New Zealand, which is actually quite convenient because I'm not like, I don't have to feel like I'm guilty for not seeing him because I'm so yeah. busy. So I'm like, <laughs> yes. My Woo! Anyway, let's go. Busy. Gotta go. We'll take you with us. We're running late. Bye. Hey guys, Bye. we are at the QT now. Um, <laughs> we just went dead silent. Um, we've just shot. Two looks already. This is our third look. I'm wearing this winter news dress, which is really cool. I paired it with Balenciaga boots, just a bit more like low key. Um, I'm gonna wear a Shivonchi bag with it as well. Um, I'm wearing Alex Yang earrings, but we've kind of made a bit of a mess in the room. But as Katie and Marissa, um, yeah, no, you may just stand there and do that one. Um, the room's really cool. We need to clean up afterwards, but we're taking some little like interior sort of shots and um, three outfits ready. So on to. Oh, sorry, two outfits raised on to the third. Yay. Yeah. So we finished. How do you feel, miss? Good, it went really well. I'm just, they're both very heavy, so I feel like, can you please move forward? <laughs> <laughs> because um, my blood pressure is very weighed down right now. You look really wide. Hey guys, so it's now later on Monday afternoon slash evening. It's like quarter past five. I don't know why I always tell you the exact time as well. It's not really necessary, but mm -hmm. I always think, I, I feel like I need to do it. Um, Beck is eating with up. Um, totally. Yeah, so it's quarter past five. We are just about to get in an Uber on the way to our party with Lenzo event. I put glasses on. I only did because I need to see. I don't need to see. Um, Where is my phone? I'm going backwards. Anyway, um, it's in South Melbourne, which is kind of actually it's really more towards Port Melbourne slash Albert Park. So it's a bit of a hike away. Albert Park? No, it's not. Actually, it's not. South Melbourne. It's a bit, yeah, it's on like the Port Melbourne side of South Melbourne. Um, 
So we're getting an Uber there, which is actually like 50 bucks each way. I kind of saw and I was like, I was like, cool. Mm -hmm. I said um, it was three minutes away, but now it says it's gone. He's going. Oh, see, he's going away from my house now. Confusing. Anyway, so we're going to that tonight, which is really fun. We'll obviously take you along with us with the vlogging camera. Do you need your cha the chain for the camera? You're happy to carry it by it as is. Oh, well, I'm vlogging. I'm not carrying it. I'm not carrying it. I'm not carrying it. <laughs> no, we might vlog. Where's my phone? Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. We're always saying today, we're always tangent. Internal monologue. Internal, yeah, it's like an internal monologue. Why will you film? Um, so we won't take this camera. We'll fl film on Beck's phone because she's got an uh, iPhone 8. So, which is a really good quality camera. So, let's do that. Um, and we will see you when we get there. Bye. With no place to go. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. I look a little bit worse for wear because I am not as bad as Beck though. Um, so yes, we were meant to be in Sydney today. It's currently 8.30. We we're meant to be in Sydney to do a strategy meeting with our new agent Kat. Well, not yet any, but our agent Kat. Um, but last night at like 11, maybe like 10.30, Beck's like, Marissa, do you feel queasy? Her and her boyfriend ordered pizza for dinner. And she said, do you feel queasy? And I was like, no, I feel fine. And then he left at 11 and at 11, maybe like just before 11.30, Beck just started vomiting everywhere. And she's, it was she vomiting all night. Like she didn't stop vomiting till like midnight, one. I don't think I went to bed till one. And then I fell asleep and I was like two things. I heard her in the bathroom again, so I came in. She was lying on the floor in her fluffy robe, she's like, the ground's just really cold and I'm hot and I don't feel well. So then I carried her back into her room and then she said she didn't vomit. I think she vomited again until my alarm was at 5 a.m. So we meant to get up at 5 a.m. to go for our flight. And I was like, Becky, are you okay? Do you want to go to, are you okay to go to Sydney? And she's like, no, I can't. And then she proceeded to get up and vomit again. So I was like, eh, okay. So I was like, well, I can't go by myself. My parents are at work today, so I have to look after Beck. So, um, and it wouldn't make sense doing a strategy and planning meeting for next year for our blog. And if one of us is there, it just wouldn't make sense. So, um, I need, I had like, yeah, well, a couple of hours sleep. So I went back to sleep and dad took back to emergency. So she's apparently, it's like 8.30 now. So that's six. So apparently she's in a room now getting a drip and stuff. So I am going to go in now and just, be there <sighs> so life just happens sometimes she was eating a prosciutto and bocconcini pizza sometimes it just turns on you and you're screwed so I don't know I would have called this pizza place today and be like was your prosciutto off or was the cheese off or was it a mouse walk over it was it contaminated what's going on so poor Beck it always happens to her this kind of stuff always happens to her, like getting sick. I don't really vomit. Last time I was like physically sick like that. It was like three, two years ago maybe. But it kind of happens to Beck. That's what she gets, which is unfortunate. So yeah, change of plans. Yeah, so at the funeral yesterday, our friend mum, our friend's mum had passed away. But we had our church and it was just a really lovely day and it was a nice celebration. Um, but then yeah, then this woke up this morning. Well, didn't really wake up this morning. Haven't really slept. I'm like several bags, and I feel like I need several coffees. Let's change of plans today. Sorry, guys. Bye, mum. I will. Anyway, we're all stuffed <laughs> because. Mum didn't get to bed till like yeah one last night because she was doing stuff for work and then she woke up at 5 a.m. because she heard us 5 a.m. and everyone's a bit tired today. So I don't have to take the vlogging camera with me. It's a hospital complex like, surprise back vlogging. I don't think that's a good idea because she looked like crap this morning when she left. So she's just very weak. She hasn't she's just been Everything's coming out, coming out of her, and she's got no energy or no liquids in her. She's having cold down water, unfortunately. Okay, so I just got back. I'm in the same location. 
Oh. I just got back from the hospital with this Instagram, I Instagram storied back. Um, yeah, poor thing. She's got a drip on currently. So she's never at least had an hour and a half, two hours. It takes like two hours to get through. So she's got a drip. She's feeling, she said she's not feeling as weak anymore, which is good. But she got there like 6 30 ish with dad um, and vomited a couple of times again um, in emergency. But because they, there were people that came in emergency, they're obviously more severe than Beck. Like two guys had like heart conditions or like chest pains. Beck was kind of pushed back. She didn't get a room till like 8 till like just after I got there. Um, so yeah, she's on a drip now. Um, she's tired though, because she hasn't slept all night. So um, I came back, so I was like, well, I'm not gonna wait here for two hours just to watch you like sleep or rest. Um, Cause she's fine, she's just tired. So she's gonna try and sleep there for a bit. Turn the lights off in her emergency room and shut the blind and stuff. So she's gonna try and sleep for a bit. Um, but yeah, poor bag. They think it's actually gastro. They're like, oh, I reckon it's gastro. That was caused by the dodgy food. And because Beck and I are both, like, not run down, but, like, we're both, like, even though we had a little holiday, it wasn't really a holiday, and we were a bit tired. Um, I think just Beck copped it. Um, her immune system probably isn't as strong as she thought it would be. And she was tired and run down, and then just, like, ate dodgy pizza, which probably gave her food poisoning, and then just turned to gastro. So they think it's gastro. <sighs> So, but she should be fine now. So she just, she said she still feels a little bit queasy, but like nothing as bad as before. So they're giving her like a tablet to like stop her vomiting, obviously. And she hasn't vomited since. Oh no, she took a tablet and she threw up. But then after that, she hasn't thrown up since. Um, and then yeah, she's on a drip now, so she should be, she should be home in the next couple of hours. I'll go pick her up again. Um, I'm just gonna do work now. I think I need to eat, and I'm tired as well. I've only had a couple hours sleep. So, oh, you know when you're just tired and you just, you just, your brain does not function. I really struggle with under three hours sleep. I'm like a mess. If it's like, if it's five hours, I generally, I actually can function quite well up until a certain part, of the, up until a certain part of the day. But I'm like an eight hour kind of sleeper um, just to like live a full day of life. So I'm kind of like, don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, okay, should I have a second coffee? I've already had a coffee. I think I say eat food and then just like crack on my day. I might have a second coffee just to like get through. And then I have, we've meant to go to Mr. Miyagi tonight for um, the one, two agency, like breakup party kind of thing. And I just, I just can't, I just can't. I'm, my brain is just like already switched off. So yeah. I'm um, to be at home today. We we'll might check in when Beck gets back home so you can see her and she can chat a bit. But I'm just gonna do work. I think I, I really don't want to, but it's just like I might do some emails and just edit photos, like monotonous stuff that doesn't really need too much brain power. So sorry for a bit of a poo day of vlogging, but this stuff just happens sometimes and you can't avoid it. So it's good that you guys get to see the fact that we go through stupid annoying stuff too like food poisoning and not sleeping and spending $700 on flights and losing that money oh that was probably the most annoying thing like so we um we had booked our flights for yesterday to go to Sydney to meet our agent and to like a 2018 strategy meeting which is fine and then but unfortunately my friend's mum passed away and our Beck and I are like oh my gosh if the I hope the funeral's not going to be on Tuesday, but I said I feel it was going to be on Tuesday, and it was. So that was fun. I was like, cool. Our flights are like 500 bucks together to, with Jetstar to Sydney. So it's not cheap, but I was like, look, it's fine. We can change it, but it was like $200. or $55 per flight per person to change. It was, ended up being 220 bucks extra on top. So it made it like $700 flights, and I was like, ah. But that's not the worst thing either. We're just going for the day. So I'm like, look, we'll just cop it on the chin. We couldn't avoid the funeral being on that day. And of course we weren't going to miss it, so that's fine. But then this morning, like when last night I was sick, I was like, dang, like this is $700 flights now that we just have gone to waste. And because we didn't have insurance, because it's like, it's a day trip to Sydney. You don't think about that kind of stuff. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.
Good morning guys, it's Thursday morning. Um, I'm ready to go. I've got to do some running around this morning. Um, update on Beck, she's feeling better. Um, the doctor said that it's actually gastro and not food poisoning, but it was gastro caused by, put my coffee down one second. Um, it was gastro caused by food poisoning. So like dodgy food, like triggered the gastro. So she's a bit contagious at the moment. So I'm kind of like, can I help you? I'm fine, over here. Um, yeah, she's, Feeling better though, she's still nauseous, but um, the doctor said that should, she shouldn't be surprised if she, if she feels like that till like the weekend. But in terms of like eating, she had some saladas yesterday and she hasn't vomited since yesterday morning. So, woohoo! Um, yeah, but I got to do some running around this morning. We went to go together, but Beck's still not feeling well enough to go all the way around the city with me. Um, I need to go to um, VDM Bathers head office. Um, our client Milan Boost was borrowing a bunch of their bathers for photo shoots um, and I just didn't return them. They're in Elster and they're in Balaclava. And then um, after I need to go to a showroom to pick up some shirts or some pieces to staff for an outfit. Beck and I do in collaboration with this brand. They're based in Elston Week. So I'll take you along as much as I can. I don't know if I'm going to take you inside. Like VDM you won't be able to see, but inside the banded together. I think it's banded together. The brand. I just, I, first time I'm meeting them, so I don't want to be like, here's my camera as well. Um, so, but I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show you the pieces you get as well. Um, they're paying us to do an Instagram post and they have a really beautiful, like, silk pieces. So I'm really excited. There's a really nice, um, like, silk floral shirt I just found online on their website. So I was like, hmm, do I want? Quite possibly. So I'm going to check it out um, and then I'm just going to come home and do some more work. We've got the AMPR. Christmas party, the block party tonight, which I will be going to by myself because Beck's still not feeling well. So I'll take you to that. I'll be wearing my white top shop dress that I wore last week to Bar Carolina. Um, but I'll show you guys when I'm ready to go as well. This is what I'm wearing today. We didn't do what we wore, what we wore this week. Um, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a Isabel Quinn t-shirt with stars over the boobs. I don't know if it's appropriate, but I don't wear it to church. I just wear it to like every day um i've got a black belt on where it's from to be honest um zara jeans and my new shoes i don't know if you see my new shoes they're from jeffrey campbell i bought them off shop Bop, and they're all studded it kind of looks like thumbtacks in a shoe but they're sick and i really like them they make a funny sound but whenever i want everyone's like oh my god those shoes are sick even boys like can't tell me like wow your shoes are amazing and i'm like Thanks guys, I really like an obnoxious embellished shoe. Hey guys, just got home from um, running my errands. Um, I forgot to have the camera in the car and I was like, oops. So I ran back out and got it. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here now. Um, whew. I was there for ages at um, Band Together Studios there, or her house, slash showroom, because um, just chatting to her for about an hour and a half. Super lovely woman, so nice. And the brand's amazing. Uh, I'll show you what we got. Sorry, I'm just set up um, my desk stuff because I'm going to do work in here. So she works based with predominantly with 100% silk. So she her background is um, in like lingerie and sleepwear. So she works a lot of beautiful natural fibers. Um, she was just a really, really lovely lady. Um, very thought thoughtful her designs um, from start to end process. So she works a lot with. Um, her factory workers make sure that they're obviously having above board ethics and payments um, and then from the I guess the start point design production to the consumer she always she thinks about the whole process and her designs are beautiful and it's all silk and I just I was in the market for a silk top um, like a silk like racer kind of so like a halter neck kind of top they had a couple but I chose this, this one instead but I think I might buy it because the black one looked like this and it's a really good price point so I'll show you what I got so it's gonna be hard to kind of see that without on I got this beautiful silk high neck top standard Marissa with like a flare sleeve standard twice blessed um, and all her prints are designed by her so they're all unique this one's really pretty it's got it's, it's a navy base with like red and white little stars there really really cute I really like her logo as well I'm like I told her, I was like, I like your logo, who did it? And she's like, oh, my friend Grace. I was like, give me her details. Um, so yeah, really lovely, it feels beautiful. It's 100% silk. 
And then for back, I picked up, sorry, I'm doing it with one hand. I picked up this camisole, which is such a back top to wear, as you would most likely know. I've been following us for a while. Uh, and this also, I love this print as well. She had so many beautiful prints, like a lot of florals, um, obviously plain, like, um, flat colors as well just some really nice emerald greens and maroons but I was like I like the prints I think it's fun so and, they, and this I think they both came in matching shorts they came in matching pants as well but we just got the tops um, yeah really like this cross print really nice and it's such a Beck camisole she'll love it and then she also gave us two silk little scarves she's got big scarves as well but these like silk ties for your handbag or your hair and she's got a really beautiful detail on each one of them um, this side it's got printed on I'm here for you um, which it's there as a reminder to oneself that you're always there for yourself and to like you know remember that but also for for friends well just to remind yourself that you're here for other people too she's got a really beautiful story and um, a really beautiful outlook on life, which is very similar to Becca Mind about just being there for others and loving people and building relationships. And it's not about it's not about how much money you earn; it's about who you know and being people rich rather than financially rich. Um, so she's a really lovely woman. So we've got a floral one and also um, leopard print one, which is so Beck. I saw it. Like, oh my God, Beck's gonna love this. I came back. She's like, oh my God, yay, leopard print. Um, so yeah, I had a um, I had a really nice time. I was there for an hour and a half. Actually, this chatting to her got there. Oh, what time did I get there? Got it just before 10.30 and I left at 12. Yeah, so over an hour and a half just chatting. She was really, really wonderful. Um, very similar outlook in life as Beck and I have. Um, and just, yeah, she got two beautiful girls and just like, talking about Instagram and um, being a positive role model for other people and just, um, yeah, in this world of Instagram, it can be very conceited and not necessarily people sharing the wrong image, but just not utilizing their platform to encourage um encourage each other to love themselves and be worthy in yourself and beck and i our platform is all about like and it's fun fashion's fun and you know all this kind of stuff's really nice and fun fluffy and you know but in the, the day we're all about making sure you guys know and our, the, our instagram followers know that you are worthy you are loved and you are valuable in yourself you don't need money clothes material items people to make you valuable or followers to make you valuable you are valuable in yourself you're fearfully and wonderfully made and you're perfect um, and designed perfectly the way you are for a reason so it was really nice to meet someone um, who's lived more years than we have and who shares a similar outlook on life it was encouraging for me because I was like wow you're like she's um, mid, mid 40s now with two kids married two kids and got a beautiful company now that I'm like and she's a similar outlook of life and she's happy and I'm like man that's what I want to be I'm like, I want to be with you when I grow up like just happy with family and love who I am and love what I've come and learned a lot of things and meet a lot of great people and have lifelong friendships that come out of being in this industry so it was very encouraging meeting her and chatting to her so she's super lovely and her house is beautiful her husband's architect so I was like oh my god this is amazing hey guys so I'm just ready now for the AMPR N Blanc white party I don't know if it's called a white party, but it's called M Blanc. I'm probably butchering that as well because I'm not French. Anyway, it's white party. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Topshop dress that I got on sale um, for the Black Friday sales. Um, it's actually still available, so I will link it below. I saw it yesterday out on online, and I was like, ooh, it's like £12, I think. £12 or £20, it's really cheap, which is like $35. Um, I really like it, puffy sleeve. It's actually nice because kind of it's gonna be like it's 25 today but it'll be cool later on so it'll be perfect so i need to bring a jacket um i'm wearing jb anderson earrings that oh, they're just a bit funny there we go straight up jb anderson earrings that I just go to belly nelson glasses because they're clear and i'm like well the only ones that kind of match i'm wearing filler bags sorry about this behind us and my chanel
He's alive! You had pretty worse for wear, to be honest. He's alive! Like in the Lion King when Rafiki finds He's Simba. alive, yeah. I'm alive. Yep, yeah, she's got coffee, so you know she's doing better than expected. <laughs> um, oh, not better than expected, just like not dying. Yeah. Um, yeah, Beck's doing okay, but she also got a period today. Oh, just going with the blows. Yeah, it's just, it's like... Going with the punches. Yeah, literally, this is a bit punch of a punch in the gut, a punch in the gut, really. Physical punch in the gut. Yeah, really. So I've gone from having gastro. nausea and gastro to the same pain, but it just being my period. That's just, it really is, I only empathize with you, because that really, really is the really poo. Roll but how amazing that we are females and get to live with this pain and we survive. Like God you, is good. warrior. So today we're going to get our hair done from Boda Haircutters in South Yarra. I'm so excited just purely because my hair is in some serious need of TLC. Like it's snapping in areas. Like where was it? There's an area back here that it's like really short and I'm like, how did it, has that, that short? And then some back here is really short. And I'm like, help. I think it's been overprocessed. So I'm like, please help. Really excited. Oh, I've got a t-shirt on. I'll show shirt. you what, um, you know, you do that. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Excuse the mess in here, but I'm literally just wearing like a variation of yesterday's outfit, which is a different t-shirt. Um, this is actually a new top I got from Shop Bop. So yeah, it goes, it's the only t-shirt, which is cool. Cause like, it's breathable. It's like a tank. It's good for Australian summer because you're not going to get armpit sweat on your t-shirt. Um, that's cool. I've, so I've tucked it into my Zara jeans I wore yesterday. I like them. Like, they're not the most flattering, like, when I'm just standing, because they just look kind of like mum genie. But I was like, they're just comfy. Um, I've got this belt that's also from Shop Up, um, my Balenciaga slides, and my Furla bag that I wore yesterday with Belly Nelson sunglasses, um, so I can see. And I'm in mourning for my health, <laughs> so Gosh. I'm in all black. No, I just want to stretch because it's easy and I've got my period, so I don't think, think tight because my stomach. So I'm wearing this really old backstage the label dress with my Converse on the t-shirt underneath and mm. my rocker slides. But are doing the rounds. Oh, they're so good. That they was are. worth every dollar. So I think Beck and I have a thing for fancy shoes. I have a thing, I'm a magpie, so I have a thing for like sitting sparkly. I'm like, ooh. Okay, yeah, we have to go. Um, so we just parked and Marie's got a ticket and then she lost it down the front of the dashboard. It like slid down to the <laughs> <laughs> unreachable uh, part. Don't, yeah, leave it there. And she lost the ticket. It was really, really um, unhealthy. Not unhealthy, it was just coloured very poorly before. Um, there was like lots of build up of colour and this wasn't right. So we started off just, um, it's a little bit darker, not as bright, just because we need to get the colour correct before we can go and write it again. I'm so happy with it. Um, Martha from Boda, she's the creative director, just did an amazing job. I'm just absolutely stoked with it. So happy, and she was lovely. And Bex getting hers done too. Bex is more like a a work in progress kind of thing because of how bad it was like the colour. She had like different bands, like a band of colour here that was like red and then like it was just lots of bands of colour. So Bex is not a work in progress. She's got um, a lot of like small foils through and then she'll come back in two weeks time to get it like toned down so it'll blend really beautifully. Um, but so, so happy with it. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Saturday. Um, oh, I'm lying down. Um, so, last night, Marissa unfortunately got my gastro caught off me. So, what I had was a combination of food poisoning and gastro. 
Um, and Marissa, unfortunately, got gastro. I woke up at 2 a.m. hearing her being sick, unfortunately. So we spent most of the night um, awake. Marissa's just um, resting now. It's about um, just after midday. We had a, um, a doctor come out at like 6 in the morning and give Marissa an injection to stop her nausea. Because um, she's really sick, unfortunately. Um, that's the thing with twins. You just share everything. And unfortunately, illness comes part of that. Um, but, yeah, so... I've just spent the morning disinfecting everything, going to the bathroom, like part of cleaning, disinfecting everything. I'm going to mop now and vacuum and just clean the whole house. I've washed all my dunas, like all my sheets and stuff um, that were infected from me because obviously gastro is contagious. Um, and then Marissa's feeling when she's even feeling better later, we'll go clean up her um, stuff. Oh, it's been a long few days, really tiring. I'm feeling better. Yay. I still feel a bit like yucky in the tummy, but. It's probably because I'm like on my period as well, which is annoying. As you can see, this is just part one um, of my hair. It's a bit like stripy because I've done, I've done little, lots of little foils to kind of blend the colour through um, because I had three different bands of hair. I'll try and get a before and after photo because I took some. I'll ask that we'll send them through. I can kind of show you like our hair journey process, I guess. Um, so we're going to do more of like a soft excuse me, a soft ashy balayage eventually. So part one is just um, going through with foils and just lift the colour off because there was so much colour so over processed it was like bands of colour. Um, just really fried so they're going to look after our hair. But hair cutters are amazing, highly recommend. The team was so fantastic, so caring. Even me, like I've got a very sensitive scalp. Um, I get psoriasis and now she was like, oh, does this hurt? Is this burning your head at all? Is this too hot? She was so careful, so caring. Um, that was Zoe and Marissa had Martha. They're both senior colorists. Martha's the owner. Um, and they're fantastic. So awesome. I'm really happy with my hair. Like obviously it's not what I want it to be right now because it's um, a bit sort of like stripey and stuff with the um, foils. But that's just because we're going to, um, in two weeks, going to go toner over it properly with a nice toner to really blend out the color, make it nice balayage. And then two weeks time again, it's the same thing. guys it's sunday morning it's just like 20 past 10 in the morning um, i'm just ready for church now i'm gonna go have a coffee before church starts and head into the service um marissa's not feeling um well she's feeling better she's just staying at home so to rest um the gastro has passed thankfully which is really good um last night i went to Buck carolina for dad's birthday just ari myself mum and dad um had the food was delicious as expected um, absolutely fantastic food. We got like calamari. I got my main got the duck, which was superb. Ari got the like Morton Bay bugs, um, linguine pasta, which he said was he inhaled it, so he said it was fantastic. Mum got barramundi, and Dad got the other fish, and they were both. We had it, I tried it all; it was delicious, um, which is fantastic. So it was yummy, and then we just got um, what did we get after? We went to like Safeway and just got like. Um, the Safeway cheesecakes from the, the freezer ones. Dad loves those ones at the freezer, but that birthday cake because we couldn't really eat much because we were all kind of a bit sick. Um, but I'll show you my outfit quickly before I head off to church and then I'll wrap up the vlog because it's already like 38 minutes and it's mostly Marissa talking about me having gastro. So <laughs> I'll show you my outfit. So this is what I am wearing today. It's going to be about 30 degrees in Melbourne. So I'm wearing this really cute new dress I got from the Iconic. It's by their home label Atlas in here. It's just like a little shift dress the zip the back and like thick straps because uh, it's like straight across it's really like my style um i got it in a size 10 which i'm a true size 10 um which is not i probably should have ironed it as well it's a little bit like actually it fits perfectly to be fair um it fits perfectly and it's a nice length it's appropriate for church it's not too short and because it's not tight it's perfect um i will say though it is a bit see-through like i've was wearing like apricot colour underwear before like flesh coloured but they were just visible so I've had to put on like literally like the colour of my skin tone otherwise you can see the underwear through but the top is double lined so you could wear no bra I'll be fine um but I'm going to church so I don't want to do that um just curled my hair with the straightener 
because it's easier and I wanted it to be a bit like frizzy and blah, so I wanted to flatten it and curl it. Um, if you guys want to see an updated hair routine, let me know because I can do it with the straight. I stra do my hair with a straightener and sometimes and also the curler sometimes as well. So it creates a bit of a different result. Um, and then makeup is just like the usual Estee Lauder mecca on my cheeks. I use the Hourglass um, like highlight palette for my cheeks. That's literally it. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, and then I'm wearing, oh sorry, I'll continue my outfit. I'm wearing my Miss Oma London and Lucy Williams horn necklace. Um, my Kate Spade, Kate Spade? Yeah, Kate Spade bracelet, Henry Watch's watch, chili jewelry rings. It's like my staple now. Um, this bag, I haven't worn for ages. It's my Machino bag, my Love Machino bag I got from um, Shop Bop maybe six months ago. I haven't worn it. I don't know why. I didn't bring it with us. I didn't bring it with us to Europe. I think it's probably why I didn't wear it. But I love it. So I wanted a bag that was like small, but could fit all my stuff. Like it's gonna be hot today, so my like deodorant and everything. Um, and I'm wearing my little Chanel shoes that most of wore that last week and it remind me to wear them. So that's my outfit. I might bring a jacket because it's sometimes cold in church, but no, I don't think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. But that's my outfit for the day. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll wrap up this vlog here. Thanks so much for um, persevering with us through two bouts of gastro. Did I tell you Marissa had gastro? I, I'm sure I did. Yeah, two bouts of gastro. So me and then Marissa. So thanks for dealing with us through that. I know this vlog's kind of been a bit heelty peelty in here and there and kind of broken up, but the week is almost done. The weekend's almost done. The gastro has passed. We're all kind of okay now, which is good. So hopefully next week is much more productive, much more enthusiastic and there's two of us in the vlog rather than just one of us um but yeah have a lovely blessed and safe week guys i'll see you guys next week for our last vlog before christmas yay